Hey guys, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're not going to look at the project. We're not going to be on the bench today. Uh, today, I want to take a minute to talk to you. Uh, this is a video in response to the video that Walcom S7 put out ooh, about a week ago on why I nerf. And he put out the challenge to other YouTubing nerfers, or people who had a, a media outlet, so to speak, and basically said, you know, why do you nerf? You know, what? what is it about playing with kids' toys that brings us so much joy? And, and what is it? Because there's so many... Uh, different facets of the hobby, which I think is actually part of the part of the things I like about not necessarily you know why I nerf, but just one of the coolest things about the hobby in general is that there's so many outlets. There's kind of like something for everybody. I mean, there's there's the strictly performance people who are in it for the competitiveness. Uh, there's people. I mean, I mean as far as uh, people who don't necessarily really care too much about the body work, fancy paint jobs. Uh, you know, strictly, you know, function over form. They want something that's going to, you know, hit hard, hit fast, uh, stuff like that. You have people who just like stock blasters, who would just plank kid each other in, in the dorm or at home or, you know, for kids and stuff like that. That's perfectly acceptable. Um, the more uh, cosmetic-based guys, the, the guys who just like putting down cool paint jobs and stuff, uh, whether it's like sci-fi... Um, uh, prop building or, or replicas versus uh, real steel replica type style builds. Uh, people who just like doing, well, like what I do, doing the integration, saying, you know, Hasbro had a cool idea here, but it'd be a lot cooler if they added this or did this or they screwed up on this, they should have done this, and creating an entirely new blaster out of the pieces we already have. Uh, you have people like uh, Mr. Heathpants, who takes a blaster and then just scratch builds you know, entire uh, barrels and all kinds of stuff out of um, plexiglass or, or Lexan or whatever he's got, polycarb, you know, and just builds stuff from scratch and <laughs> does an amazing job at it. Uh, you have, uh, there's the, the LARP scene. Um, there's the, uh, shoot, what the heck else? You, you have the, the NIC guys, the home-built guys. And yet all these different, you know, radically different aspects of the hobby can all coexist and carry on a conversation because you're all based around the same product, I guess. I mean, you have, I, mean, I came from, well, came from, uh, in the, uh, the classic car hobby. You can go to a car show and you see, you know, stuff that's built entirely different, but you'll see all the owners hanging out and chatting and having a good time. Everybody has, you know, their, their, this is what I do and this is what I prefer, but, you know, we're all in the same boat. We're all having a good time doing what we love. And that's that's one of the really cool things I like about it is that you can have these hardcore competitive guys carry on a conversation, you know, and be you know plenty plenty civil with guys who just are okay with stock blasters because they're in it just for the fun. Uh, you can even have the, the prop builder guys who don't have functionality at all, who who don't really have the things actually fire or function, but they look really cool, and we can all relate, and that's just really cool. You know, and it, it's it's such a uh, a remarkably supportive community, and that's what I really love about it. Uh, when I first got in, you know, I was just kind of a, a tinker, and I've always been a tinker. I mean, I've especially coming from you know working on cards and stuff. They're always fiddling with something, tinkering with something. Um, come from more of a hot rodding background, and so it's always about you know squeezing a little bit of power out of what you got and stuff like that. And especially right when I came into the hobby was right when uh, the aftermarket really started to pick up, which was really cool. Um, back when Orange Mod Works was kind of the only game in town, and the fact that some company was building parts that you could buy and put them into your blaster, you didn't have to build stuff from scratch. That was that was really cool. To, but there's still a lot of uh, ingenuity of, of still building stuff. I mean, I came in when the Maverick was still a viable option. But I just kind of came across Nerf through... Right shortly after we got married, then my wife and I were doing some babysitting for a family that she knew, and uh, you know I I don't really work work good around kids. I just never care much for kids. So I'm trying to think, okay, how how am I supposed to handle these what four four kids they got? You know, how, you know what what do kids do? I don't like video games and stuff like that. How do I relate? Well, the littlest guy came out, you know, one of the mornings, and. Uh, 
had a, had a, it was a triad. And I was like, whoa, Nerf. I remember Nerf guns. I had Nerf guns. And uh, I thought, that's something, that, that's something I know. I can, I can deal with this. So I looked in their, their little toy closet thing and it was all the uh, early in-strike stuff. But I was like, man, things have changed since I was a kid. Holy cow. And so um, I was rocking the, uh, the Maverick. And I'm thinking, this thing is cool. It's like a little revolver thing. And it's really cool. Um, so after we got done doing the babysitting thing, it was a, a three or four day operation, it seems like. And I told my wife and I was like, I'm gonna have to get a Nerf gun because they're pretty cool. And she's like, okay, whatever, you find it on Craigslist. So I think I paid five bucks for the first one. And I started doing the research online and there's just so many things you can do with them. And you're really kind of limited on what you can do with a Maverick, but I saw all these other options and this is right when Elite stuff was first coming out. And so, you know, brand new models and stuff. And so I started snatching them up and just tinkering and then I found out a bit about the integration thing that you can you can cut these things up and do other stuff and and that's really really what got me rolling because I, I came from uh, before doing nerf stuff I was did a lot in the model car hobby um, 24th 25th scale uh, mostly uh, older style hot rods and dragsters and stuff like that that I was doing so I was familiar with kind of the the cutting stuff up and, and modifying things and had a lot of had a lot of the tools the files the, the blades um, exacto knives and stuff like that and a lot of the kind of scratch building background which was really helpful i was able to just kind of springboard right into the nerf scene pretty easily and so it, it was just kind of a natural natural progression and, and i guess the thing that really really sang to me was you know building this model car and, and putting all the detail into it and you know running uh, wiring and plumbing on this on this little tiny engine and stuff just the satisfaction you get from that but then you put it up on a shelf and you just look at it and say, that's really cool. And that's the end of it. And and there's really nothing else you can do with it. And, and so I, I thought, you know, hey, I can do the same kind of thing with 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 Nerf blasters. You know, I can I can take I can take something like this, you know, just like, okay, it's kind of cool. I can turn it into something like this and then play with it. And that's just that's just just the cat's meow. I mean, that's that's like the perfect thing. You can you can build something from from scratch, or you know, cut up a bunch of stuff and put it all together, and then you get to play with it. So you get the whole the whole play aspect, having a good time, plus the the, the people and just you know stuff like that. That it's just a uh, it's amazing. Or I guess I don't know. How do you say it? It's no wonder it takes off so well. I mean, I it it had me cooked like that. Um, I told my dad about it. I was like, remember Nerf guns when we were kids? You know, you bought us a couple of those. Look what they're doing now. And he's like, oh man, that's so cool. And so he had me building stuff. I mean, I've built him a pretty hot strife, um, rapid strike. He's the one that uh, I built the chaos for. You know, he kept coming back and, and saying, hey, this thing needs to shoot faster. This thing needs to shoot harder. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Um, he picked it up right away like that. Um, my wife's friend's husband uh we were talking you know shortly after after those two got married and uh and i was like hey you know you gotta, you gotta check out this nerf thing you know it's it's, it's kind of cool and he's like nerf what the heck what are you in grade school what is this and uh, uh i think i invited him to the uh, to the arena in uh in the capital there uh nerfed and I was, I was like, you know, just just try it once. Just just humor me. It, it'll be cool. And man, he was hooked. It was. We went to the rival night. I think it was like two or three days later. He shoots me a text and he says, "Hey, I found these things on Craigslist. Is this a good deal?" And it was, I think, two Apollos for like eighteen, twenty bucks. And I was like, "Yeah, do it. If you don't buy it, I'm gonna buy it." And so he brought them over, and I put pump kits on them. And and so him and his wife have a pair of Apollos, and so they've they've come several times to the arena, and and. Uh, my brother was kind of skeptical. He's five years older than I am. And he, he's got his own kids, and he's like, Nerf, what are you doing with Nerf? We had him and his family over for Memorial Day, and we set up a, a field in the backyard. And, and I was like, you know, just just humor me. And, man, he had a ball. And so it's just, I mean, he obviously didn't get hooked as, as, as well because he's got, shoot, four kids or whatever. He's kind of distracted with other things. But, but it was funny because... You put Nerf blasters in the hands of people that you know, don't really aren't you know they're really not familiar with it, and they just have a good time. I've never, 
I know I've, I've hosted uh, a few wars for um, youth groups and stuff like that, you know, for church and thing and you know things like that. And the kids just have a ball. We, uh, my brother's kids, we've had them over and, and playing in the backyard, and they just have a ball, you know, laughing and giggling, having a good time. Nobody's, you can't not have fun. Unless you're like overly competitive and you just have to win and stuff like that. But as far as if you're just out here to have a good time, you can't not have a good time. What other hobby out there is that enjoyable, you know? And that's that's part of the, the magic. I guess it, Nerf is a magical hobby. I, I don't know how else to explain it, but there's just something about it, whatever it is, that... You know, it's some product that Hasbro puts out because, you know, hey, kids like to shoot each other. That's cool. We can make money off that. But there's something else to it. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's if it's in the product itself or, or, or if it's just in the platform. But there's just something to it that I'm going to say it. I'm going to say Nerf is magical. And maybe I'll put something up here that says, like, Nerf is magical if I can. Because it is. I, I have no other explanation for it. And I'd say that's... I don't know. That, that's why I nerf, because I can't help it. You can't not nerf once you nerf. I don't know. It's it's just such a such an uplifting hobby. I mean, there's like you get into the community and there's there's a few stinkers and there's stinkers in uh, in any group of people, you know, regardless of, of what the organization is. But, you know, where else can you have a global organization of people? They're willing to help each other as much as as much as this community. I mean, you have people just sending each other stuff. I remember uh, during one of the Reddit competitions, the the quarterly competitions. I think it was um, Landgrave, you know, put up a, a post saying, "Hey, you know, I had this. Uh, what the heck was it? It was a big salvo." He says, "You know, I blew up one of the tanks on my big big salvo. Does anybody have one that I can buy?" And someone's like, "Yeah, sure. Where are you, where are you at?" He gave him the address, and the dude just sent it to him. You know, he could have sold. He, he was. Landgrave, he was willing to pay for it. This dude is like, no, no problem. I got you covered, man. Um, Clowny, good grief. If Watch Clowny's channel. I'll put a link in there. The dude's always giving people stuff. You know, I, I don't know. It, it's, it, it's, he's just a, you know, a charitable guy. He's just like, oh, you need a thing? Cool, I got a thing. Here, let me just send it to you. And I'll, you know, draw you a sweet picture while I'm at it. You know, but the community's full of these people. They're just... They're just a good bunch of guys and a couple girls, you know, it's just, it's just a good bunch of people to be with. And that's, that's what really drew me in because there for the first, what, two years that I was doing the Nerf thing, I was just kind of in the background and I was just, you know, watching the people on YouTube and, and kind of tinkering around with the, with the, some of the forums and stuff. And, uh, but it was just one of those where it's like, this is a group of people that I want to associate with. And I'm not a guy who likes people at all. <laughs> and, you know, it's, I don't know. It's, there's just something about it that seems to attract, you know, good people. Whether it's, do people, are good people attracted to Nerf or does Nerf make people good? You know, you tell me. But I don't know. I think why I Nerf, it, uh, it gives me a creative outlet. You know, I'm, I'm a, a a hands-on kind of tinkering guy and it's cheaper than working on cars you know my wife's like you keep buying nerf stuff and i'm like hey i could be working on the truck i could be working on the car i could be working on the wagon you know but that's really expensive and so i can i can i can satisfy my, my tinkerer's urge you know in something a heck of a lot cheaper and build something cool that makes people happy you know that's a win and uh besides since you know, she's partially responsible for my uh, reintroduction into Nerf, so I can kind of blame her. So she can't say a whole lot, which that works out pretty well. But uh, I don't know. It, it's like I said. It uh, it gives me an outlet, so I can I can tinker with stuff. I have that satisfaction. I get to associate with really decent people, and uh, I don't know. It's and it's fun. It's just dang fun. You know, it's it's. It's amazing how much fun it is to shoot your friends in the face, you know, and be harmless about it. There, there's just something satisfying about it. And shooting strangers in the face, meeting somebody, you know, like at the arena. You walk up, you get some good shot, you shoot some kid in the face, and, and then you give him a high five later and say, hey, good game. That's good times. I don't know, that's... I like Nerf a lot. And 
I don't know, I could, I could list for days other cool reasons, other cool things I like about it. But no, that's, that's why I nerf. It's just a good thing. And I love it. And I hope to continue to bring you, uh, you know, good content. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping I've got a lot of cool ideas in my head. I just wish I had more time to bring them to fruition for you. And I've got a, a box over there of, of, you know, integrations that are kind of, you know, a handful of blasters cut up and put into a box. I've got a, a bunch of ideas. I've got stuff like, you know, there's kind of half-built projects everywhere that, you know, I hope to be able to to continue to do this for a while and, and you know, share ideas with you and, and hear your feedback on stuff. I mean, I, I like reading the comments and, and, you know, especially during this model long thing, people saying, hey, you know, this looks real cool. It may be how to do this. And, you know, picking up those ideas and just talking to you guys about stuff. You know, I, I hope to... I hope this goes for a while. I may have to slow things down later on, you know, especially as the model long project comes to a close. Hopefully, in the near future, I'm hoping to have that done. Oh, end of July. But you know, no, I hope to keep doing this for a while. And you know, I hope you guys, you know, spread the word and say, hey, this Mr. Nathan guy's got some kind of cool ideas. You know, share some videos around with your friends or whatever. But I don't know. But I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. That's probably a lot longer than it needed to be. But I uh, guess until next time, wishing blue skies and green lights to you and yours, and may all your troubles be teeny-weeny ones.